Let's look at activity 18F. The question says open the file saved in activity 18E. Select all types of items except for any binder. Produce a new extract from all of the stationary data, which for each type of item, calculate the average purchase price, the average sale price, the number of items in stock, sort this data into descending order of average purchase price. Show how you performed the summary query and the result of the calculations. Okay, so let's go ahead to do that. So we're going to open your we're going to open your uh, database. Now, I'm going to base this my summary on activity 18e right and then i will later save it as activity 18f right so you want to go to create you want to go to query you want to pull in the table that you want which is activity 18e by the way you can also use activity 18a table which is the stationary table to actually uh, perform this okay now for this question i want the type and i want the purchase price field and then the sales price field these are the fields that i will need for this particular question so if you if you run this now you will see that you have the type now if you look at the question very well you will see that it says select all types of items except for any binder so if you look under the type field if you go down you're going to see binder we don't need this binder binder to appear right all this we don't want all this binder to appear so what we can do is um use the criteria rule and then write not filter the query write not binder and then you can run it okay when you run it you see that no binder will appear under the type okay so this is basically it so now we've been able to filter it to have uh, no binder right so the next thing what you want to do is to now calculate the average um the average price purchase price for each of these types okay of items the spine how many sp uh, spines that we have and then calculate the average price and then average purchase price and average sale price of course we need to have one more um you know field here that will also calculate the number in stock for each of the items the liver act file the spine label the organizer file and the rest right so let's go back to the design view what you want to do here is you go to so let's add one more field actually let's add one more field so let me just add type i'm, I'm going to change it because I, I will use it for the uh, number of stock um yeah number of items in stock right so here you want to click on total so you see this uh, group by and then under under this total you want to choose average under p price and then you want to choose also average under s price now for the type here this will give us the number of uh, items in stock so you want to use the count okay so we can run this and then we can have this right so we see the fields here but of course these fields we can give it appropriate field if you have watched video i made on on um, the task 18q you will see that uh, we, need, we need to give this appropriate field, right? And then as you can see, for liver, we have about 38 uh, liver act files in the record. And then we have a folder, about uh, 25 folders. And then organizer file, we have about 12. And then spine label, we have about 7. Okay? So now, one of the things I will do is this price here, I need to um, format it purchase price field and then the average um, the sales price field let's go ahead to format them so you want to click on p price here you want to go to property sheets so the format will be in euro and then in two decimal places the same thing with the sale price i'll i'll have it in euro and then 
uh, two decimal places of course you can choose any currency that you wish i just want to be consistent here okay so that's it for this so the next thing you want to do is to change the name uh average of price i want to have something more suggestive so how do you do this if you look at this place now you see that it has it has p price here all right so what i'm going to do here is have average average i want to write average p price okay and then colon space okay so that will so only this will appear as your field name now right when you run the query so i'm just going to also do the same thing here and i'm going to have average average s price you can you can name it in full you can say a sell price but that will be too much so that's why I'm, I'm adding just s price right so here i'm going to have before the type i'm going to have um items in stock something like this number of items in or number of items in stock okay sorry let me just write items in stock something like that okay colon then space right so you want to run that and then you see that average p price average uh, s price and items in stock okay now to sort the data into descending order of uh, average purchase price what we need to do here is simply go go to your design view here under the average uh, purchase price you want to sort in descending order and then that will give it um, so you can run that and then that will sort it into descending order of purchase price if i'm not mistaken yes purchase price and that's about that so this is how you can create the summary now when you're done with creating it you can just go ahead to save to save your summary by uh, control s or clicking on the save button up there so now i'm going to give this activity so the name is going to be activity 18 f underscore tbl stationary so this will also remind me that the table was gotten from stationary okay and i'm gonna give it query something like this okay and i will save it i'll okay that and then that will save my uh, summary as a query down here okay so guys so that's how to create a summary in a database thank you so much i will see you guys in the next one bye